Hello. So we are here with Heidi Stefanishin Piper. She is a former astronaut, and it's my first time ever meeting an actual astronaut or someone who was. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're a woman. I mean, what inspired you to become an astronaut? Well, it was something that just one thing led to another throughout my career. Um, I started out uh, in the Navy. I was a Navy engineer and also a qualified deep sea, deep sea diver. And my last job in the Navy was doing underwater ship repair. So fixing ships while they were waterborne. That sounds like a movie. Like that's amazing that you've done that in real life. And then how did that lead to what you're doing, what you did? Well, and then from there, I learned about the astronaut program and found out you don't have to be a pilot. The things that NASA looks for is a technical degree. And so I have uh, both a bachelor's and a master's in mechanical engineering. So that qualified. And then NASA also looks at your work experience. And so at the time, I was with the Navy, um, active duty, doing ship repair. And NASA was getting ready. They hadn't built the space station yet. And a lot of the space station construction was going to be done by astronauts going out and doing spacewalks to assemble the space station. Wow. And so I applied because I thought, well, I can fix the ship underwater so I can build the ship in space. That's amazing. How, I mean, was it ever scary at any point? I mean, because you were there, you started when they haven't even, hadn't built the space station yet, right? So do they prepare you guys and tell you like, you know, the dangers maybe, or like what was going through your mind when you decided to like, I want to do this? Well, I think everybody realizes that flying in space is dangerous. Um, you know, at that point when I applied, you know, the Challenger accident had happened. That was a long time ago. That was the one back in 1986. Uh, Columbia hadn't happened yet. So, yes, it's dangerous, but there's a lot of things we do that are dangerous, and you just have a lot of faith in the equipment, the people working on it, your training, and you just go do your job.